cooking up something healthy, Grandma. We are. Y'all, I have been showing y'all salad um, for the past few days, and today we're going to do something different. Most people like a good, healthy vegetable casserole on their, uh, when they're having like a family dinner or something. So this is just a really good, healthy uh, vegetable casserole. It's not going to have any meat in it. Now, if you want it to have meat and you want it to be a one-dish thing, you can add uh, ham or chicken to it. But today, mine's just going to be a vegetable. And I've got four stalks of green onion here. And I'm going to cut that up. I've got a uh, pan sauteing back, I mean sauteing, heating back here with uh, about two tablespoons of olive oil. And I've got some, about two or three cups of water in this pan that's heating up. We're going to blanch our vegetables. And I'm going to saute my onions and my carrots and my celery in this pan. So... Just give them a little head start before you put them in the oven. That way it doesn't take them as long to cook. So this is just uh, four stalks of green onion. Now you don't have to put the green onion because I'm putting just a regular onion in here also. But I just wanted to show y'all how I'm going to chop my veggies this morning. And I am putting the green, the little green uh, part of my little onions here because it just gives it color and it still has that onion flavor mm -hmm. so that was i'm gonna put those I like them. oh yeah we love them i put them in all my salads i put them in i do not throw that green away we use it and in the garden when we grow them i'll just go out and i'll take a pair of scissors and i'll just snip the green part off and i bring it in and use it so all right, that was probably a fourth of a cup, but it was four small uh, stalks. Now, I am half in this recipe this morning because it's just me and Roy. and uh, But I'm going to put the full recipe for a 9 by 13 uh, dish, casserole dish, in the description box. But it's just us, so I'm half in it. But I did want to show you how you can have a wonderful, healthy vegetable uh, casserole. Okay? So now I just cut my onion in half and I cut it twice through. And then because I want it minced up real fine. And that's the. Now that was a half. That's all I'm going to put since I'm half in the recipe. But if you're not happy, you use the whole onion. But I'll have all that in the description box. So I got the wrong thing here. I told y'all before, this little jewel right here is, if you don't have one, get it. All right, now I've got uh, my celery. And y'all always know, I've told you to string your celery. Just run your knife under there. And I've showed you a lot of times how to do this. But I have a lot, lot, lot of new subscribers. So that's the reason I go over. I know some of you old ones, you know how to do this. But for my new subscribers, you don't, you know, you don't ever know. And so I just like to, uh, to, to do things for my new subscribers too. So you just put your little knife under there. See all that? And you would have all of that in your casserole if you did not string your celery. Always, always string your celery. Okay? Now, I'm going to cut my celery down the middle like that because I don't want big. I want uh, my celery, my onions, I want everything to be about the same size. And I'm going to use this little piece right here. It was what the little green leaves were on. And the green, green leaves were wilted or I would have used them. But if you see my little bowl here, that's my rabbit bowl. All my little scraps go to the rabbit. So they do not go to waste. Our rabbits get them. And they absolutely love them. So, and one of my favorite parts of watching somebody cook is the prep. 
I love it when they when they prep in front of you. All right, now this is carrots. Uh, I want them about the same size as my uh, celery and my onions. So what I'm going to do, I've cut them in half, but now I'm going to cut them again to where they're about that size. And my grease is getting hot. My water is getting hot. So I'm just going to cut them. Now this one I left whole so I could show you. I just cut it down the middle like that. And then I'll cut it again like that. So you got little pieces. And I'll just uh, cut them up just like I did my celery and my onions. About the same size. Now you can leave any of this out if you want to. But it's just, it's a really pretty casserole dish with the, uh, with the carrots in it. Um, you can put peppers, sweet peppers. I'm not putting any in mine this morning. You can put bell, green bell pepper, red, the sweet, the red, orange, or yellow, but I'm not doing that this morning. But I have made it with the uh, with the peppers in it. All right. Now I'm going to saute all of this. That's the reason I'm putting everything in one bowl. All right. My grease is hot behind me. So that was my two different kinds of onions, my celery, and my carrots. And I'm just going to saute <laughs> Oh, that was my green onion. It didn't cut up good. I'm just going to saute it until it just gets, my onions get like translucent. All right, my water's getting hot here. Now, in here, we're going to put broccoli, cauliflower, and squash. Now, if you've never put squash in your uh, casserole, try it. It is delicious. So I'm just going to cut my... And we're just going to blanch this. Just give it a little head start. And sometimes I do it in my little, that goes to the rabbits. Sometimes I do it in my little um, steamer, my microwave steamer that I have. But uh, in case you don't have a steamer, I want to show you another way that you could do it this morning. So most of the time, though, I use my steamer. And I just cut it in pieces like that. Okay, and I do my broccoli the same way. You can let them see, honey. And these, they're just broccoli florets, and I'll leave them. Now, I leave, I cut my stem like that off because that's the stem has got a little brown on the end because these came out of a bag. They weren't the the whole. Uh, the whole stalk of broccoli so I just always cut that little end off and I have washed them good and uh, when I'm chewing them up my teeth don't look at the end of the broccoli <laughs> so but I cut these stems off because we like it and it gets yep. soft yep. and we really like that in our casserole so in fact I like a little crunch if it'll still yeah have some. yeah I may put a little bit more broccoli. No, I'm not because I I get carried away. I'm half in this recipe, and when I start cooking, I, a lot of times I add more than I mean to. So, all right. Now, this squash had some dark places on it. Uh, this one's got a few, but I just took my little vegetable peeler, and I just peeled it. But I'm going to just cut the ends off of this. And uh, let me see how I want to do this. When I get down to this end, all right, I'm cutting these about like that. You don't want them real thin because you don't want them cooking all the pieces. I'm going to cut this one like this. 
and then because you want all your pieces about the same size okay put that in my rabbit all that in my rabbit bowl there okay now we got one more thing and then because my water is boiling back here that's a good thing because it's got to boil this has got to uh, cook about, boil about three minutes, just enough to blanch it. Okay. Then I'll slice this one down the middle because you want it all about the same size. Now I'm telling you, squash is delicious in this. Delicious. If you've never tried it, do. And it just adds another help. Uh, element to your to your casserole all right now what since my water is boiling I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt in my water I'm not going to put any pepper because I'm going to put pepper in my uh, in my mixture my casserole I'm putting because I want a little bit of garlic taste in, in my vegetables. So I'm putting it in my water. And I'm just going to put my vegetables down in my water. And that dropped the temperature a little bit. But I'm going to turn them up to like high. I've got to turn this up. Because I didn't have it. I just had it on low while I was doing all this. Because I didn't want it to, to get over brown. So, while this is coming up back up to a boil, I'm going to cook it three minutes. I'm going to saute my vegetables. Then I'm going to get all my other ingredients out, and we'll be back. Y'all, I forgot one thing. A half a cup of milk in this water. And that just kind of tones that broccoli down just a little bit. So if you've never put just a little bit of milk in with your veggies when you're steaming them, try it. Really good. Are you preheating your bowl? Are I'm you melting bowl? my butter. <laughs> yep. All right. Y'all, this is my veggies that has been uh. Blanching, I call it blanching, but they were boiling for like three minutes. But you do not want to overcook them. You want to keep that beautiful, bright, vibrant green color, yellow color in your squash and your broccoli. Blanched in milk water. Milk water. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Only a half a cup of only a half a cup of milk, but it is delicious. Okay. All right. That's all those. Now we're gonna make our filling. Yep. That's just my butter. I melt my butter. I'm gonna go ahead and put it. That was a half a stick. But and I melt it in my dish so it can kind of grease my dish. And I'll just take my hands. It's not hot because I had on the soft the soft melt uh setting. So, now our uh, mixture that we're going to put in here, this is my homemade cream chicken soup. And go to Grandma Rose's Open Pantry on YouTube and type in uh, homemade gluten-free cream of chicken, cream of mushroom soup, and it'll come up. So, uh, I'm putting two eggs in this. It's going to be cream of chicken soup. Two eggs, a little garlic, because if you remember, I put garlic in my veggies. I want y'all to look at those veggies. Aren't those they beautiful? Are, mm -hmm. I was those myself. Oh yeah. Two eggs. Healthy. Yes, very. I put a teaspoon of garlic in my water, but I'm also putting a teaspoon in my uh in my mixture here. I'm gonna mix that up real good. And I got to get out another 
I'm not going to measure this, the mayo, because I'm going to have it in the description box. And like I say, I told y'all I was half in this. So I'm just going to kind of guesstimate. Uh, that's one tablespoon, two tablespoons. That's about... fourth cup of mayo. Okay. And I've got, uh, I put a teaspoon of salt in my water. So I'm putting a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, just fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. Okay. Mix all this up together. <clears throat> All right, now <clears throat> I'm going to put my veggies in my bowl here. Look how pretty that is. Mm. I, I can't. No, actually, Hannah and Hunter gave me this. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah and Hunter. <laughs> That's my grandson and his beautiful wife. <laughs> I'm always trying to get a little bit of credit here. On this yes, he is. Video. All right. Now to this, I'm going to add my wow. onions, peppers. No, I mean, not good. peppers, onions, uh, celery. My two kinds of onions, celery and carrots. That's gonna mm -hmm. good. Isn't that wow. beautiful? Now. If you want peppers in yours, put peppers. But this is what I wanted to put in mine this morning. All right. Now, this you is. You don't have to eat a bland no, vegetable casserole. For it to be delicious and for it to be healthy. That's right. Put healthy back in some good now that looks like a lot of filling, but you want a creamy casserole, and this is gluten free. So, all right, I'm gonna stir that up. Now, don't uh, don't stir it real hard because your veggies. You don't want to tear your your veggies up. All right, now we've got. I've got three kinds of cheese because I want a white cheese sauce for this. I mean a white cheese. Now you can use cheddar cheese if you want to. That's just up to you. And y'all know I do not usually use pre-shredded cheese, but I needed to use this. I have got mozzarella. I have got pepper jack. And I have got this Italian style. Now, in here, if you want to take it in an Italian, add some basil, some Italian seasoning, but I'm not going to do that this morning because that's not how I want mine, but it would be delicious in here. So, I'm just going to put like a cup, cup and a half, a little Italian. about a cup in it. Mm, I would not. Uh, okay. Just because I don't like Italian salad dressing. So, but now if you, I guess you could if you, you know, if you, that's you really what, like Italian. yeah, mm hmm, yeah. All right, I'm just stirring my cheese. Now, y'all, I forgot to preheat my oven. But, uh, I was just thinking of some of the Italian. That was as part of the yeah, you could do that. Yeah. All right. That was about a cup or a little over in the uh, in my casserole. Now I'm going to put about a cup on top. You just add as much cheese as you want. But now this is some I, I shredded myself, and this is the pre-shredded Italian right there. Okay. Cheese costs a lot of money. Y'all, <clears throat> you don't quit saying that when I'm cooking. 
<laughs> I'm gonna not let you be my cameraman. <laughs> Every time I use cheese, he says that, y'all. Are you going to use your other husband? <laughs> yeah, I'll use my other husband. And just because you said that, I'm going to put a little bit more. more. <laughs> All right, y'all. As soon as my oven preheats, I'm on, this is my oven's going to be on 350. And uh, we will cook this for like 30, 40 minutes until my cheese, because everything in it is done until my cheese gets uh, toasty brown. Because we like ours brown. So we'll be back. Okay, y'all. Our casserole is done. I want you to look at that. And it cooked 30 minutes. Uh, now, I half the recipe this morning. So you're probably going to have to cook yours 40, 40 to 45 minutes. Because it, the recipe I'm going to give you is for a 9 by 13. This is like a 10 by uh, 7. Uh, dish right here. So, all right. Did you call me in to listen to a lecture or no. to taste some food? Oh, that is a beautiful casserole. Y'all, you're talking mm -hmm. about healthy. You can have meat or you don't need wow. meat. Wow. One. This is a total healthy. Ooh, look at that. Low look carb, at that cheese. Wow. Everything you want in a casserole. Look at you. Mm. Look. Mm. Oh yeah. It's still steaming. Oh look yeah. Look at the broccoli, how beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's still green. All right, Grandma. Mm, 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 You're mm. getting on my last nerve. All right. <laughs> I do that often, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> but he don't have but two. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that right, baby? He claims I get thwarted. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but. It's still hot. Oh, my. Mm. Oh my. Yep. Y'all. Boy. This. These is, cheeses are delicious. Of course, you put too wow. much cheese, but. Y'all. That cheese is delicious. Let me get some cheese. Mm. How did you not get cheese? Mm. That I cheese is delicious. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> Y'all see that cheese? Mm mm mm. -mm, -mm. Uh oh, I just dropped some. I'm dropping some too. My cloth is clean. But I'm not dropping it on the table. Mmm. Mmm. Use these cheeses pepper jack, mozzarella, and uh, Italian blend. Mmm. Wow. That's one of the best casseroles I've ever eaten. We'll call it Don't Stop Eating Casserole. Yeah, Don't Stop Eating. You can taste the squash. You can taste the uh, carrots. You can taste the, the broccoli. Each You can taste each thing. It's just, it's just, it's, it is really good. That's wonderful. Really good. Wonderful. All right, healthy. you want to show them about the uh, potatoes. Yeah. We've had, we told y'all last year and when I used them, about our low carb potatoes that we plant in the garden, and some of y'all have asked where we got them. So, Roy is fixing to show you where we order them from. This is the Guernsey's catalog, and not that I'm uh, advertising for them, them. on mm -mm. particularly, but I just wanted you to know this Nicola or Nicola, Nicola, I don't know how you pronounce it. But that, that's the potato, and I'll just read you what it says. It has two-thirds fewer carbs than red varieties. Uh, golden yellow inside and out. This medium-sized oval potato has a mild, nutty flavor. Great for baking, boiling, or roasting. Firm flesh holds up well in soups and salads. Low glycemic index. That's because it's low in, lower in carbs. Ideal for low-carb diets. Good resistance to scab and and drought. You get two pounds of seedling potatoes for twelve ninety nine, and then they'll tax some shipping on, of course. But I got some last year, was real happy with them. We've got some canned in there. I've got some seeds that are seed potatoes that I saved that are already up and nice plants out in the garden. Gurneys. And I'm going to put the, the uh, in the description box, I'm going to put the phone number and I'm going to put the name. So you can go on their website and order some if you want to. But some of y'all had just been asking. 
And we don't remember who asked. And last year, I couldn't remember the names. But now I can remember casserole. <laughs> Food feeds the family, family feeds the heart, God feeds the soul. I'm telling y'all, you want to make this one. Wow. It is so good. It's going to be on my Easter table. Yep. See y'all next time.